No filming. Ever. Alright, sorry, I'm putting it away. Banned. So this is the story of how I got banned from my favorite casino. But let's start at the beginning of the night. What's up you guys? Tonight we are playing 5-5 or 5-5-10, whichever I get on first at the gardens. So hit that intro. Yeah, I mean, the nice thing is that I just don't like till, you know. <laughs> Alright, we got the flush. Okay, he's got a set of eights. We got him. Hold. 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 <laughs> Tell him he's got a lot of class, and it's all low. So much like the 1999 cult classic, you guys know exactly where this story is headed, but what that means for my future and the future of the vlog, well, you're gonna have to find out. So pop some popcorn, sit down, and let's head right into this. Today I'm playing 5-5 five, five at the gardens, I buy in for $500, and the first significant hand I play is pocket queens in the hijack. The under the gun and low jack limp, I raise to $30, and the button, small blind, and both limpers make the call. Five ways to a flop, it comes three, king, queen, cha-ching! I flop middle set, and the action checks to me. I put a c-bet of $60, and only the button calls. The turn is an offsuit six. It's a safe card as it doesn't complete any of the draws. And now I'm going to start applying pressure. I want to charge any draws and get value from any king he might have. So I bet $185. Unfortunately, he folds and I take it down. Next, I pick up king 10 off on the button. There's a straddle to $10 and both the hijack and cutoff limp. I saw both of these players limping with awful hands, so I raised to $55 and only the cutoff calls. The flop comes jack 3-3 three, three rainbow, the cutoff checks, and I make a small c-bet to $45. The cutoff then raises to $120. I had made some cheeky comment earlier when she won a hand with 10 deuce off after calling a $30 raise preflop. Ooh, premium. So I think she may just be trying to get me back out of spite, but still I only have king high, so I fold, and sure enough, she flips over queen deuce offsuit. All I can really do at this point is give her my best Robert De Niro face and say, nice hand. This next hand might be pretty questionable, so let me know what you guys think. I get ace queen of spades on the button, the hijack opens to $20, and I 3-bet to $60. Standard stuff so far, the hijack calls, and we're heads up to a flop of 9-5 deuce with two diamonds. The hijack checks, this board doesn't hit my 3-betting range, and I have a decent showdown value, so I just check. The turn is a 3, and the hijack bets $75. Now, the standard move here is probably to just fold, but I do have a gut shot and two overs, and I'm ahead of draws, so I make the call. The river is another three, the hijack thinks, then bets $155. So, here's my thinking. This river bet is only 50% of the pot. It seems pretty valuey. If he had a straight or a boat, I imagine he'd probably pick a bigger sizing and polarize this bet more. So what exactly is he representing here? A nine, pocket tens, a mid pocket pair. And what is he hoping I call with that he beats? As the three better preflop, I'm gonna have a lot of over pairs that'll call and beat any pair he has or I'm going to have two big cards that miss the board completely and just fold. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it, but the only hand that somewhat makes sense to me is pocket tens. I hope he's bluffing. I take a deep breath and toss in the calling chips. He says, good call, and flips over king six of clubs for a bluff. I was right this time, and I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty amazing showing ace high and taking it down. Brandon, you mind taking your balls off the table, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm riding high now, and I pick up pocket tens in the cutoff. The low jack opens to $15, the hijack calls, and I three bet to $60. Only the hijack calls, heads up to a flop of deuce three seven with two spades. The hijack checks. Again, this low board isn't good for my three betting range, but it's good for my specific hand, plus pocket tens needs protection, so I put out a c-bet of $50. Well, the hijack raises to $200, and I look at his stack. He has 450 total. 
After calling 200, I'm not going to be folding for 250 more later. So I rip it all in now to commit him. Hopefully he has a smaller pocket pair or flush draw. If he has a set, good for him. I'm getting stacked. But when he goes into the tank, I'm feeling very good about my hand. Like I said earlier, he probably has a pocket pair like 8s or 9s. Maybe a hand like 7-8 suited or a 7 suited. Unfortunately, this was the moment the floor man stopped me and told me I couldn't film, so I had to stop the camera, but he eventually made the call. The board ran out ace, king, I showed my cards, and they were good. After that, I only played a little longer. I was pretty tilted that I couldn't film, so I cashed out and called it a night. Honestly, this, this really sucks, man. Um... I've been playing at Hawaiian Gardens since I was 21 years old and I love it. It's the closest to me and I just got asked to stop filming there by one of the floor men. So now I'm on a quest to get express permission from Hawaiian Gardens or the gardens now it's called the gardens. Um, but this sucks because if I don't, that means that every vlog from here on out has to be at The Hustler, which The Hustler's great, don't get me wrong, but The Gardens is my home. It's where I've played the majority of my sessions, and yeah, we will see. Anyway, today I was in for 500 at the 5-5, five five, and after they told me to stop filming, you know, I left a little bit after that, I left uh, with 1109 for a profit of 609 but yeah I'm just I'm just I'm just bummed and mad but thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one hopefully at the gardens I don't know we'll see bye okay so update time it has been about two weeks since that last session where they told me I couldn't film and I was devastated. Um, the gardens is where I filmed most of my sessions. It's where I've played the majority of my poker in my whole life um, as far as live and yeah, to not be able to film there was just crushing. So I decided to take things into my own hands. I figure vlogging is just a win-win for casinos because it's free exposure, free advertising. Um, it's good for the game of poker in general, just getting more people interested in the game. So I reached out to the higher ups and asked them, hey, would it be okay? Um, and they gave me the green light to film. So I am going to be back in action at the gardens, completely legit now. And on top of that, they've talked to me about doing some possible future meetup games. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments. I'm super grateful to the gardens for letting me film there. And also I just wanted to take the time and say thank you to you guys for watching. Um, I think if I had less subscribers, maybe the gardens would be like, <laughs> no, you're just some stupid small fry vlog. You don't get permission, but um, thanks to you guys and the following that I at least have, um, I'm able to film. So, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say, but thank you so much for watching this video, for always watching, staying tuned, laughing with me, learning with me, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.